Welcome back to Super Liminal. I've taken the liberty to complete some of these, like, level designer achievements. Just, you had to, like, actually import a model into the game. Create or download a model, a 3D model from, from the wide web, and then import it into the game and all of that. Just kind of some tedious stuff. I don't really care for achievements like that. But I also perused the workshop and got like some of the most top rated uh, like dreams available, just like five of them or something. There aren't that many, honestly. It seems like it hasn't really taken off, but who knows? We'll probably do that at some point. But for now, I want to take a break from challenge mode and try out this whole speedrun thing. I have not done any research or practice or anything like that. I just want to like Hate new game, we can do, uh, where is it? Speedrun timer. We can turn on the speedrun timer and just play through the game normally and just like see kind of get a ballpark for how fast can you go and how much time do I need to shave off for 30 minutes. I'm assuming I'm gonna need to like look up some strats or whatever, but yeah, let's just, what is this continue? Where was I? It probably doesn't matter. Let's just do a new game. Are you filled with feelings and yeah, of let's have the timer on and see how quickly we can do this. So it's or like under an hour seems problems, like that's probably doable, but under 30 minutes seems like maybe we need some sort of shortcuts or tricks or something. Technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. So yeah, we'll see if we have time for the workshop stuff dreams come at the end. If I get the achievement, or if I'm just gonna do this, maybe we'll leave it for another time. Yeah, I guess in a sense, like, doing the challenges might help you, like, Terms optimize of some accepted. of the, uh, Congratulations on the stuff asleep. in challenge Welcome mode, but some of them are different too, so not really sure if it's completely, this like, applicable. Will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Great. Perfect mobility. Confirmed. Movement. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I kind am not a Kind of a shame that like speedrun mode doesn't team. disable I do not the uh, dialogue or something. That would be nice. And especially if it like cut out some of the wait times in some of these sections, would also be welcome. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Wait, we need to like... Oh god. Other way around. Make it smaller. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Yeah, probably not going to be too much to say here. We're just just going to try and go fast, I guess. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt. Especially since we've done the like developer you commentary stuff. To maximize it's just, the time allotted for your you know, therapeutic journey. Going Please fast if I can. Proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Oh, come on. Yeah, this this stuff can be a little weird. I guess the sign is always better. There we go. Not optimal.
Yeah, that's almost already like 10% of the time, and that's chapter one, so probably not happening, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed this doesn't work. I feel like that could have been a thing, like, have a speedrun achievement that you just need to beat the game for, but then have one that's, like, unreasonable that you then have to figure out the whole chess, chess piece thing. I think that would have kind of made sense. Wait, it's over here. Oh, come on. Stop doing this. Why are, why are they like this? Uh. There we go. Thank you. I'm not sure why they do, like, bug out so much. Just disappearing, even was not Hello. landing on anything My name weird. Is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. Pretty sure doing this is faster than using the other cube. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh man. Yeah, major time loss. Reset run. The world record is in shambles. Okay. Hello. This one was My in the ceiling Dr. first. Glenn. Yeah, honestly, maybe doing challenge Can mode is a good idea first, but quick I at least want to like you are. attempt it one time. Don't know, but please because it would like refresh my memory on exactly what we need to do in all these situations. Reminded that you are completely lost. I wonder if there's some sort of go fast trick. Hitting, like, putting a thing inside of you, but like sideways instead of going up, going to the side. Also, there's no bunny hopping. Too bad. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Hello, my name is I want is to like Dr. read Glenn these, Pierce. but we kind of can't In do that event, during a speed run. Does not wake you up. Lee? Lee? Yeah, I'm not sure about, like, under 30 minutes. How is that even going to happen? I'm only on chapter 3 now, out of, like, 8. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, Wait. which reflects negatively oh, on the standard orientation Forgot where it was. protocol. Yeah, now we haven't you done this part in challenge mode. Immediately. Yeah, like an hour seems reasonable, but half an hour seems kind of absurd. We'll see. Don't think I need that, right? The light. 
professional tip, the average adult can only withstand 3 to 5 dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Yeah, like if the world record glitchless is 22 minutes, that's... That's pretty uh, strict for like casual runners. Like if you're not even a speedrunner. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more oh traumatic and likelier to result in fine. catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Okay. Is that it for this dream? Because yeah, that's that's a very short one at least. But I know there's like at least two or something, two chapters that take a very long time. Yeah, we'll see. Is this the fake wake up one or No. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and despite oh yeah, this is the spooky the one. Serenity zone in the I feel like this one is pretty extensive. You may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Very exciting speedrun right here. I am holding W like you wouldn't believe. Oh, right. This is the fake out one. Is Dr. Glenn oh yeah, Pierce. I guess we and don't like re to really need to go here. And I mentioned before. Should I even have done this? Because like it's because back there, the isn't it? That we actually end up going. All around you. Or how does this work again? Do you know everyone else is enjoying? And that's exactly why we're here. Today. No, not not yet. But yeah, at that point where you need like the light, you could just skip it and just go through the left. In the whole like stacking boxes segment. It's just here, right? Yeah, just like skip that. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself but, yeah, to yeah, this is mental overload by descending this into is a problem. dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even Probably further. not faster than going and grabbing it. To make this crucial distinction. Yeah, no, th there's no way. I don't remember like the terrain. I guess you would just practice that. I wonder, if I load, reset... Okay, if you reset checkpoint, it's the timer just keeps going. It doesn't, like, go back. I don't think you need to jump there, as far as I remember. Yeah, I just, like, I got stuck here. Oh, no, you do need to jump? Okay. I thought it was just, like, a path. But, yeah, like, that's... That's gonna be insane to try and do in complete darkness. I feel like you have to go and grab that sign. Come on, stop doing that. Dude! This is stupid. Why is this happening so much now? I guess this one you definitely don't need. We can just like get up here, right? Kind of. I mean, again, it's like, it's hard when you can't see. 
Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? Surely you can't just like go do the dog ending of and have that count as a speedrun? I assume protocol. same as the uh the chess piece thing that wouldn't count. But like technically you beat the game. Yeah, this is a, like recursive one with the apples and stuff. Uh Oh god, did I have to keep that? Well shit. Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have okay. not yet been it's discovered. Okay, not bad at least. Cannot be Smiley understood. cursor, yeah. Kind of a weird way to do it, but it worked. Yeah, you have to specifically do all the chapters, because otherwise the chest thing would have worked and the dog ending. Warning. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Ah, I guess we don't want to do that, even if we can. I mean, I can just return it, yeah. That's probably faster than going up, up and above. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Yeah, maybe Hello. that's the way to do My it. That you can like redundant. get to a real the chapter to that school. has the chess piece VR thing and the like uh, deep you, blue segments. And then as long as you're in that chapter, you can use the, the chess computer because of that part. You played all the chapters, but I'm not going to like risk it, at least for the first time. This is the fake out one, that right? No, no, not yet. That certainly doesn't feel like we're halfway done yet. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to Oh yeah, that. the dollhouse one. Isn't this one, like, pretty damn extensive? Oh, I think I'm too big now. No, okay. Just barely worked. Yeah, I want to say this chapter is fairly lengthy.
would be nice if this speedrun timer in the game also like told you the splits Hello. for each chapter. Is Dr. Glenn but I guess you have to use real to split software for that. As mentioned earlier, please also yeah, this is the one I always think is going to drop me and then doesn't. That you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Not sure how to do that, like, really fast. Hello, my name. Why did I slow Glenn down? Pierce. That was weird. It was just like walking slower until I jumped. Quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature. Oh right, yeah, we actually have to like everything you've get ever up here, I guess. Here. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. I can't just get in here. No, I can. Okay. A little awkward, but you don't have to get up on the rim. That should be okay. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations! Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. That's fine, I guess. Don't really want it to be that small, but hopefully that's okay. Just have to, like... Get through here again. Oh no, wait, is this gonna, gonna even work? Might be kind of too small at this point. I mean, I guess we can just take this. Oh no, time waste. Gravity, please. Yeah, you don't want to go too small there. Ah. And I'm still small in this one. Yeah, I should have made the dollhouse smaller again. Yeah, definitely not good, but whatever. This is not supposed to be, like, successful. It's just a test. Getting an estimate. Cats. Yeah, we've, we've read this. Yeah, maybe we can, like, just stand up in the keyhole and just, like, snag the dollhouse and put it down in the keyhole. This is still not the fake-out one? Damn. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in... 10... 9... 8... Error. Error logged by... Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase you think this in chapter fear, seven? Is it? and frustration. Already? This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease Because then which one is the emotions? one that, like, does the wake up, wake up, fake out? Hypothesis. Patient or you, like, keep getting looped back? Conclusion. Was that eight? I guess that was eight. Impossible. Reformulating. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency No, it wasn't this destroyed. chapter with the fake out because it happened like right at the start, right? Instruction. Continue with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Is it here? Oh, yeah, this is it. I thought this, like, started the chapter like this.
yeah, I was hoping the like speedrun mode turning on the timer would mean that you would skip those types of sections where you're just standing around waiting for them to talk. I will not fall for this one this time at least. Dr. Glenn Pierce, thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Oh, right. I don't remember this part. Like... Completely. I thought it was already the like elevator section. to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Okay, yeah, here I don't know what we, like, determined which one was actually good. I think I was supposed to, like, turn around at the start or something. Yeah, I don't know if you can just, like, know where you are and just, like, go through the grid to the end. Yeah, I feel like I took a very bad path. Jesus. Listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Is it better to walk like diagonally in this one or not? I'm not too sure. I'm guessing it would be better to go diagonally so that we can like get close to both walls simultaneously. Oh god, I took the wrong way around. I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Other than the elevator thing, I feel like that went pretty well, that chapter. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of and now we have to wait again for a long time. Wait, there we go. That was weird. Yeah, this part takes quite a while. Hello? Oh, I had to go through. Shit. Well, waste of time there. Explosive dream overload. result. Please paradox overload. Dream 
Yeah, this part always takes me a long time because I, like, look around and stuff. So if you just, like, walk forward, maybe it's not so bad. But I don't remember all of the little tricks and stuff, so... We'll see. Uh, here we just like go through, just go past it. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. Yeah, there's like still so much more, isn't there? With the deep blue thing and the chess section and the puke corridor. Yeah, we'll see how many more minutes I could have saved. Because, yeah, like I could save a couple minutes at this point, but not that many. Oh god, it's like too big. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. And how far can we toggle this? Life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Oh, right. Yeah. Forgot about that. Also wasted some time there. The dream is dead. But yeah, I'm just kind of curious, like, how much more time do I need to save? Because yeah, if it's a couple minutes, well like three to four, then I feel pretty confident I can probably do it without, like, external that you won't get strats or whatever. After all, if but we'll see. A place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? Should I test this just for the sake of it, since we're already wasting time anyway? Do I need another one? No, okay. The black one is the last one. Good to know. through that door cleanly at least and yeah here i'm not sure if there's like a good way to go down we avoid like more layers or something time to puke I'm like forgetting how much more there is. Like, is this it or is there more? They use one chess piece for that part. I guess that makes sense. Just like, you know, putting one down, jumping, and then placing it again or something. Oh, hey, 32 minutes. Okay, that's not bad at all. I can definitely do that without like looking up strats. I easily wasted two minutes just doing dumb stuff. Yeah, that is 
not bad, and it's nice that it stops here. I wasn't sure if it was going to like count the time in the credits as well. Yeah, so I guess we can just jump out. Okay, I feel confident about that. Let's just go back in. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Especially now that I have a little practice, hopefully I'll remember some of those, like, spots that trip you up. Our patent pending Somniscope technology provides safe and effective... See, I mean, when you think about it, like, world records 22 minutes, that is a lot of time saved. Like, it doesn't sound like you have a lot of room for error, but 8 minutes in a 30 minute run is actually quite a lot. Yeah, I was gonna be a little demoralized if it turned out that the, like, uh, end credits, all of that section, if that also counted for the time, then it was gonna add, like, an additional three or four minutes, and that was gonna be, like, impossible to overcome. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full yeah, consciousness and control. slow at this thing. We don't need it to be like that big. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. I'm sure you can do this, like, way more efficiently. Oh, yep. Wait. Thought I fell. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. Oh boy. You did not wake up. Please complete Maybe grabbing the plank is better there. Activities. Might be like faster. Oh no, what am I doing? That's not small enough, is it? Uh I guess we can do No. No. Damn it. Yeah, that's not so All good. Environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical I'm still state. probably gonna need like more practice anyway, so compromised by even if I make mistakes, let's just like keep going for now. In your post -procedural survey. Completed survey. Thank you for pointing out that I'm wasting time. Card. I wasn't aware. <laughs> yeah, this thing, I'm not sure how to do this like quickly. Please stand by for polite yeah, the elevator the mace, of the I'll try like turning around completely. You I'm not sure it. if that's the best one. I guess the time feel free to like look into that. This was also really slow. In proceeding through the if anyone can look into indicated. like how do they do the elevator mace in speedruns? Is there like some optimal path where you just like start by going like two rooms right and then one room south and just like you just get to the end? Because, yeah, that saves quite a lot of time, if there is something you can do there. Just go faster, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think about that. Damn it. Alright, please don't, like, eat my sign this time. Nope. Stop. Okay, I'm not sure how to do this well either. There we go. Could definitely do that better. Back three times, right three times, then left once. Honestly, I feel like just going back and doing, like, what it tells you to, like to, talk to you. 
about might being might be close to that amount, so if I remember correctly. That we have no Just like starting by flipping are. around and then but not to worry. following We're the arrows. Oh god. I think I'll probably try that. Rotation is not very fast. It takes quite a while to rotate. Oh, you mean with the exit signs? Like, put them sideways instead of, like, forward? Yeah, that probably works Hello. better. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick is that update enough? on where you are. Yeah. We still don't know. But, please keep moving forward, and hopefully, you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Yeah, it's a shame this doesn't actually count. You can't, like, glitch up here using the signs. Well, not glitch, but, like, get your way up here. And skip those Hello. parts, but My name even then, Glenn I'm not sure it would even save time. Can't find you, but you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that oh, should come on. lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. I think that's a small time waste too, because I made it too big, so I'm not Dr. fast Glenn enough Pierce. at this part. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychological. I'm kind of surprised that the later chapters, like, didn't feel that much slower than the early ones. I also don't know which... which uh, alarm clocks you need to tap on or press snooze. Because, like, some of them you do, but that might just be in that section that, like, loops you back. Maybe you don't need to do it on any other this ones. Is an automated message for all patients yeah, now again. To use an yeah. Pathway to access like, I was slower for some reason, then I jump, and then I'm fast again. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Your decisions imply yeah, that saves a lot of time which reflects from last time. The standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Uh, is that enough? God damn it. Yeah, just one of them is enough, okay. That just went out of the wall. We're outside the world. Professional tip: the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Yeah, it does feel like this game is very long, but then like. Yeah, you can beat it in 30 minutes, but I guess that's if you just, like, know exactly what to do and you just go exactly the right way immediately. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies oh God. a misunderstanding this part, of all I'm also like, solutions, all of which are far more traumatic not and likely too sure to about. result in oh God. catastrophe. I am not capable of yeah, suboptimal suggestions. Yeah, do that better. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Right three, right three, right one? What do you mean right three? Like right and then three s straight? I'm not too sure what that means. I'm just gonna try it the way that I've tried it, like going backwards at the start. I guess there's no 180 turn, so it's easier, but yeah, I'll try the the normal way. Hello. 
Also, My I'm not name sure is what Dr. you mean. Glenn what Pierce. was on the right side? And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self doubt. I'm not gonna try and go for the like, feel like everything black is going wrong? cargo Even thing storage. Shining. I'll just get the like light. But I guess I will do it on the second one, because that one isn't too bad. Not stuck on one of those last time. Fractions of seconds saved. Oh, yep. Again. Forgetting. Yeah, this is a scary part. Like, I don't feel super confident on that. I don't want to, like, full blast it. Because if you fall, then... That wastes a lot of time. Hello. My name I'm sure you is can Dr. just, like, Glenn Pierce. find and it, I'd go like forward, then jump the diagonally and just be fine. But I'm not sure I want to risk that. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Damn it. Getting stuck on the stairs. Yeah, so let's go get this. Warning, you were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. I feel like it would just be really hard to, like, fit in here. I'm sure you can learn to do it. I'm sure speedrunners do it. So yeah, here we should just be able to, uh, just go for it. Hello? Okay. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. You have to turn that on, don't you? Like, the door isn't open until you turn it on, I suppose? Left side to jump, hold right for a bit, then move left, then right again. Which, which one? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Yeah, I guess it's only the dark box maze. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's just like if you get stuck, then you won't know where you are. Like, it's hard to tell if you're even moving or not. And like there's a lot of small like edges and stuff that can that you can catch on to. Which doesn't get you when you have the light, but yeah. I feel like that would just be way too much trouble. Oh, wrong one. Way too much trouble compared to just like spending six seconds going in grabbing the light. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded... I'm not sure how to do objects. this, like, quick, though. Beliefs That's about fine. Of hallways, ...and other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Oh god, what is the best way to do this? That works. Maybe jumping upstairs is also faster. You kind of slow down a little bit when you get on them. Warning. 
Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Nope. Wait. Wrong way. Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello. You can take that sign? Why? Are redundant. Oh no, it's just like a recursive thing again. Doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can I'm not sure how, you, what my time was here last time. Transmission ends. We don't have splits. Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the... Yeah, like, I want to say that might have been, like, 16 minutes or something at that point. But I'm not too sure. And yeah, I'm not wasting, like, a second turning off the alarm now. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Yeah, the keyhole thing, I can definitely do a lot faster. I mean, I can, I'm not sure- oh crap, oh that's bad. I can do it faster, I'm not sure I will though. Oh dear. I don't feel like we needed to be this small last time. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, it's hard to have any, like, a reference point of exactly how big or small you need to make something. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may oh, be crap. receiving this message in error. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I'm sure there's some better trick to it. Of just like getting it big, big enough and in view. Or like correct angle much quicker. Don't want this to be too big. Oh, don't want it to be too small though. I'm just gonna like jump here so that that like oh never mind hit my head like here Hi. yeah that my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce we call it like, like little uh, my favorite bump just, like slows you down the so I guess I just go for this like right away negativity. trying to like it won't spare both get up on it and death, get in the pain of disease the cruelty of time I don't know is that even worth it human nature now I'm ah oh, man everything yeah this one is very dear. precise if you want Whatever to like you do don't focus on that. Oh god, yeah. I don't know. I mean, getting up on the ledge there, like, around, takes so long that it kind of feels like it's worth it. Also, where's the uh, opening? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's fine. Now this part, though. Hello. Whoa. My name huh? is Dr. Glenn Oh, that's Pierce, weird. I've never like seen that before. For triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system. So is that enough? Patients. Can I just place it like now? Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should yeah. be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. And then let's see. Can I just like grab this from here? Yeah. Exactly. That's a good idea. 
and then try and make it like not too small. Yeah. Okay. That's like way better. I think just that alone basically like saved all the time I needed for the end. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8, error, error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable as Somnasculpt therapy it was is like two minutes to more at this point. Well, I mean, emotions. two minutes more is just about what I needed. Hypothesis. Yeah, this part sucks. I wish we could do something about this. Conclusion. Don't think there's anything impossible. to do other than just stand around. Reformulating. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. And yeah, I wasted Inclusion. time in that, like, uh, corruption paradox received. thing as well. Emergency exit so that'll work. Has been emergency I don't think I'm gonna, like, try and do the single chess piece skip strat or whatever. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. And now it's Goodbye. a fake fake outs, and now we do need to hit the... The alarm clocks. I guess I can just like wait around. Like as soon as the music starts, I don't need to move forward anymore. Oh, damn it. Trip me up anyway. Like, stutters of that part. Wasted less time on that, too. I, like, walked the whole hallway last time. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. I feel slightly Thank bigger here, too, so I'm, I should be a little faster. Orientation protocol. Before you begin or was that a reset door, I guess? Like that just resets your size, yeah. So that wouldn't matter. nature of the dream state. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm up for trying the like chess piece PC thing. Of course, nothing is more challenging like in a run like this to see if it would still count. I just I can't the imagine it does. Altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. All right, this was the like use the other exit, right? So we have to look here first. And then now we can look behind, yeah. What are you doing? Jesus. I don't understand the stupid ledge grab sometimes. Like, I definitely should have ledge grabbed. You even saw, like, it pick up the little bit, thinking it should ledge grab, and then just didn't. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Oh, do you just place the box down there? Like, I can just pick it up and place it down, maybe? Or maybe you have to get, like, to the end. Yeah, so, backwards. I'm just gonna try that. Yeah, I guess whatever that strat was, 
would be faster, but I mean, this feels pretty fast and it's like easy to remember as well, instead of having to like count or anything. Just go backwards. Carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. That's pretty good. Yeah, I feel like that chapter went very well. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonascult Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Diagnostic yeah, that's way faster this time. I don't know if it's faster to go around this or just like Hello. cut through it. My name is Doctor. Like Gray I'm Pierce. worried that you might get stuck and on something. A chair. Ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Kind of got stuck there a little bit last time as well. Man, man, how the hell do you do 22 minutes? I'm curious. After this, I'll definitely have to watch a speedrun. I mean, I guess there's probably more tricks than what I'm doing. I'm just like, you know, walking the whole way. God, I don't like when it's this close. Just kind of holding forward and walking. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and twenty one minutes and twelve seconds, carry, is that the record? I realized Didn't you say twenty two minutes before? I, I blame you. Was not as easy as it used to be. Yeah, and then here I wasted time because I thought it was loading. It's not. Ah, come on. What are you doing? Yeah, like if you could do the the chess piece skip here, you would skip all of that, but dreaming now. Yeah, there's no way. I guess the speedrun would do it, if so. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place Yeah, that would probably be like an entirely different category or something. Where a different point of view could make Yeah, I'm just gonna play this safe. Isn't that why you came here? I 
don't know, we're kind of cutting it a little close. Is that enough? Okay, good. I wasn't sure. Wait, what? Oh god. Oh man, I got really turned around there. Thought I was already on the bottom and it did some like trick because I was trying to get to this part. I thought it like put it in a different direction. Well, we still got it with like a minute to spare, but yeah, it's definitely like pretty tight if you don't use any speedrun strats, but still like doable. Sub 29, sub 29. No, <laughs> God damn it. Ruined. Oh man. If I save like five seconds. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Didn't take too much grinding. Wasn't like too unreasonable. I guess we'll just jump out. Hello. Hello, Lynn Pierce. So yeah, we don't have too much more time, but like, I guess we can check out some of those workshop levels. I'm not sure how, uh, how lengthy they are. But sure, I did download like five of them, so we might as well check them out. Because yeah, otherwise it's just go back into challenge mode, but I guess I'll do that next time. We didn't have anything else, right, in terms of, uh, I don't know why I still have that, in terms of achievements. Uh, two more achievements, Where where's the ones? Yeah, just all challenge and play a dream. Okay, cool. So you just go in here, which is where, like, where we can, uh, I don't think we can go in here. Oh, you can. Okay, I thought you had to, like, you have to sign this. I thought you had to sign it before you could edit stuff. But yeah, here's just where you, like, make a level, and then you can play your level and upload it and stuff. And here are the levels I've downloaded, just five of them, because they had, like, high ratings. Uh, I guess we'll just start here, through and back again. Not owned by you. Oh, I see. So, ah, dream within a dream. We don't even have to finish it. Done. Okay, let's stop there. Oh, there's like a speedrun timer on this one. Oh, I was gonna say that like, oh, it had like weird holes in it, but I guess not. What just happened? Yeah, now I'm like in speedrun mode, I probably shouldn't be. Oh, I guess I opened this up. Like, I think I did that right by stepping on this first. It dropped the cube down. And then what? Do I have to place that again or something? Like here? Ah, I see. Yeah, that, like, cube floating up thing was interesting. Was that it? Okay, yeah, they're very, very short, I guess, but yeah, that was neat. I guess we're probably gonna go through all of them then. And you get a gold border when you've completed them. The door. Oh, I see, yeah, you can probably use restart from checkpoints to, like, save time in certain parts. I wonder exactly where. Like on the dialogue thing, where you're just standing around waiting, can you just like restore, restart to checkpoint and have it like skipped? I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to check it. No spoilers. What do you mean no spoilers? There's a red chess piece somewhere in it. I didn't see, hold on, did the other one have like notes as well? No. Yeah, I guess you can put in notes if you want to. Through and back again. My first level, it's short and not built amazingly, but I tried testing out a few mechanics that I could flesh. Yeah, I love fleshing mechanics. 
But yeah, that was good. What's this? Or like jumping? Like how many... How many jumps you're allowed and stuff? I guess? Oh. Flesh out some other time. As with my all my levels, I've hidden a red chess piece as a bonus challenge. See if you can find it. Sure. Also a speedrun timer. Alright, so we gotta be, like, observant. Also, they say all my dreams as if there's, like, many of them, but... It didn't look like there were that many levels, like, overall. Okay, but one, one of these would be fake. Is there anything you can, like, grab in here? Because otherwise, what's this button for? I guess nothing? Yeah, it does seem like a pretty rudimentary level editor. Like, especially in terms of the geometry, you don't seem to have that much flexibility, but then again, maybe people didn't, like, import 1600 models and stuff. Why do we get duck ass? Hmm, it's gonna be a little hard to, like, balance. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. I knew one of these was gonna bait us at some point. Am I back? No, this is a new area. Hmm. What does that do? like opens this and what do we do now hmm I'm not sure what to do now we don't have anything to grab nothing in here. Hmm. Yeah, I am out of ideas. We can't go in here. It seems like we have to push this down to both get rid of this and open this at the same time. Huh. Any ideas? I mean, like, I can't have taken anything from before with me because of this door. Ceiling in the main room? Oh! Ah, yep. I missed that. I, I saw something. I thought it was like a reflection of the exit sign. Whoops. Yeah, no red chest piece here. Maybe that's where... Oh. Didn't I just see something else? I thought I saw something like up here above. But yeah, like if we can get up here using this, probably not. Unless I do the, like, push into it thing.
How do we do that again? I've forgotten how the trick worked. You know, there's a ledge up there. What did I do again for, for the trick to, like, shoot up? I had something figured out. Where I just, like, squeezed it into a wall. But maybe it doesn't work now, like... It doesn't work with a box, because it's... Oh, there we go! This is, like, too flat. Yeah, it needs to... I guess it needs to be moving. Yeah, that's the, the problem. The, like, drinks cans, they, like, keep moving so you can keep pushing them, but as soon as an object is stationary, it, like, becomes a different type of ob object, basically. So we need this one to, like, flip over, basically. To stay, like, moving. And yeah, that's kind of hard to do. Yeah, not really gonna happen with this one. Alright, whatever. Oh, I see, we're just out here again. So, what do we do here? Like, I can't lean this here, can I? I guess, maybe we can? Damn it, no. Maybe, if I make it big enough. Also, is there anything, like, on the opposite side of this? I don't think so. Okay, I'm not so sure this is what you're intended to do, but I'm gonna keep trying it. No! God damn it. Why is it, like, still moving? Shouldn't it be frozen at this point? Oh, man. <laughs> this is definitely not what you're meant to do, but... Let's see if we can. Ah, oh, crap. There's also a bit of a, like, cooldown to jumping when you're going up slopes. I think I've said that before. So sometimes it can be awkward. Yeah, I'm gonna say we probably can't do it do it this way. But then if I'm not doing it that way, what am I doing? Like getting up here, maybe? Yeah, this definitely seems to be a trickier, like, puzzle level. You just think I go through again and, like, avoid falling? I don't know about that. You can try it. No, this doesn't even open anymore. But I guess we can go out here? Oh, like, yeah, go up here again? That might be it, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I guess so. Buttons like I needed to have... Like, there were three buttons or two that were, like, pointless. 
I wonder if you need to somehow place something on them in order to open this door. Yeah, that's just the end, I guess. Nope, nope, you, you'll have to find the actual exit. You can have the hidden chess piece, though. Oh, so this was the secret. This was not what you were meant to do. All right. But then what are we meant to do? If this is supposed to be the, like, sneaky secret that you're not meant to find that easily, I don't even know how to solve it normally. And this is just, like, nothing. Hmm. And, like, somehow... I can't, like, grab stuff from in here, can I? Because, like, if we couldn't place the box on top of this and then, like, remove it so the box falls onto the button, but I don't think you can do that. Can you? Like this, and then, I guess, make it small. Or should we make it big so it falls slower? I guess not that big. Yeah, like, I can't grab it from here now. That might work, but that also feels, like, not right. Especially since we need something else here, I think? Yeah, I'm not sure about editing levels and seeing, like, how they work. I have no idea. But <laughs> I'm not sure I can even finish this one. I have no idea what you're meant to do at this point. Yeah, like, it's, you can't go in with it, so you have to, like, grab it and then drop it. And you just don't have time for that. We can't, like, place this up here or anything. And yeah, the smaller it is, the faster it falls, so we would want it, like, kind of big. There's no way you have, like, a, an insane timing thing like this, right? No, there's no way. I have no idea. I might not be able to solve this one. I don't know what else we could do at this point. Like, get on top of here or something? Go all the way back? This is just all the way back to the start now. Twelve minutes, yeah. I might have to give up. Like, the only two things I can think of is leaning this and jumping over, which feels wrong, or doing this weird trick thing, which feels wrong. Or, like, if we can get up somewhere, but I don't know where that would be. up and out here or something. No, there's a ceiling. I don't know if the comments on this say anything. And yeah, this door we can't go through on either side. What opened this to begin with, or did nothing open it? I guess this one was always fake. Oh, I think I understand. Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah, this is sneaky. I think we have to, like, make a slope and then slide the, the cube down onto this or something? Something like that, but then, like, make sure it takes a while for it to do that so that you can be all the way at the the end. Well, that seems kind of crazy. I 
Ah, it's also hard to make it like as big as it needs to be without getting limited by this top thing. You know, like that or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what you're meant to do. Rotate it a little bit so it rolls down. Yep. I guess that's it. That is kind of insane. Like, as far as a difficulty spike goes. I mean, it's a neat trick, but yeah. Very questionable. Alright. Well, that was that one. Maybe we can squeeze in one more. Or maybe I should just leave them. I don't know. I could do these like next time instead before doing challenge mode. Like I don't know if these are long or not. Update. Your idea was that the top button opens the door. You place the box on the door, press that top button and it drops the box. Not sure what you mean. The, the top button didn't seem to do anything, did it? I'm not too sure. Okay, this doesn't look that... that extensive. This level is fully functional with a new update. Explore the room and find all the items to lead you to the exit. There's three hidden ducks. We couldn't see what door opened, if any door opened, because it was past, like, past a, uh, Emancipation Grill, whatever. was moving around. I guess, hold on, let's let's check this then. Since we can do the rest of it quickly. Oh, and that gold border was not like you've beaten it. It's just that's the currently loaded one. Yeah, I guess that would make sense if the button up there drops, opens the door so that you can place the box on the door. Yeah, that would definitely, like, make way more sense instead of the, like, slope solution. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I fucked up. No. God damn it. It's a bit of a problematic, like, soft lock. Damn it. Oh man, these are so weird sometimes. Can you please just fucking be a slope for once in your life? God damn it. Oh. That's probably not good enough. <sighs> nope. No, it's not. Stop. Why am I struggling with this now? I, I can't do it. It just won't, like, be the right size or angle. Finally. Okay, so, we can check it here, I guess, like, 
Yeah, sure. Just have it like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. So you just do this, place the box on here, and then hit this button. But hey, the slope trick also worked. Great. All right. I think that's that's a good time to end it. So next time, I guess, since I have these, we might as well just play these three levels and then we'll get back to challenge mode, I think. But yeah, pretty good. The speedrun was enjoyable. I like that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. And good night.